Hey, it's Wrestling Hero Figs, and today, guys, we have AEW Unrivaled for Cody. Don't know where the roads went? <laughs> Don't know where the roads are going, but make sure if you like this, make sure to like the video, and we'll see you on the next one. Um, what the freaking heck? A figure review, a wrestling figure review in in a ring? That's, that's never been done before. Wow, that's, that's so creative, Nick Storm. Awesome stuff. Um, good day, ladies and gents. It is I, Nick Storm, the uh, One eternity later. <sighs> um, Leon Icon. And now you may have noticed something has changed. Something is something's a bit off about this video. Well, you'd be right. So as opposed to my normal kind of review station, I normally had my phone or the figure on- Oh, I just bounced the ropes. I normally had my figure on a big cabinet in front of this red wall. And the, the red wall- the red- the, 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 the red wall is staying, obviously. It hasn't gone, but the cabinet- I freaking got that the heck out of here, man. That ish was taking up so much space. And what I really want to do is make a really cool arena setup uh, with a big table. So once I get the table, this is just what we're going to have to deal with. But with that being said, and the decrease in video quality, I decided to increase the audio quality using my special microphone. Hey, little mama, let me whisper in your ear. So there is that uh, making up for the bad video quality. Uh, <laughs> Merry freaking Christmas, I guess. But nonetheless, you know why we're here. You know why you're here. I I know why I'm here because I just received a freaking package from ringside arrived here this morning just finished freaking uh, WrestleMania backlash is that what it's called now officially just finished backlash and Cesaro the homeboy got killed RIP to his right arm that shit look like it hurt it man all right nonetheless let's get into this freaking guy now, I've been watching a lot of uh, Insidious lately, and oh my freaking goodness, what a good series that is, but I haven't been able to sleep because I've been having freaking nightmares. And speaking of a nightmare himself, let's get to the American one. Oh, damn. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. My father said when I was younger. Cody, why are you looking so angry, man? I think you look a bit constipated, bro. You go, you're good? Need some Pepto-Bismol? Is that what that's for? I have no clue. Oh, but speaking of Pepto-Bismol, guys, we got a pamphlet. How sick is that? Get the freaking pamphlet out of here. It's staying there for the rest of the video. Speaking of all the pamphlets, when I removed the cabinet, there was just like all, like maybe five or ten pamphlets <laughs> were behind the cabinet because of each time how I throw them. Yeah, I never clean up after myself. I'm a wrestling fan. What do you expect? Oh, baby. This looks pretty good. Dude, that smiling head scan's insane. Wow. Wow, that's not a bad head scan as well. Okay, what am I doing? I know there's no easy way to open this up gently and without ruining the package, but we can try. Now I'm thinking, what do I call this video? Cody Rhodes or just Cody? Because apparently to him, I'm only on a first name basis. Freaking hell, I can't have anything, man. Boom, boom, chakalaka, boom, boom. I mean, I'm not going to use the box anyway for anything, so. It's like, yeah, let's freaking let him breathe. Let him breathe, brother. HH. Oh, I think I'm going to, I'm freaking going to stab myself if I have this in my hand. Oh, baby. I don't know why this is. Let me know if this is the case with yours, but whenever I get an unrivaled figure, this this clear packaging is always so slimy and greasy. And it feels like I've just been eating like 10 buckets of KFC all day. Like, I don't know why that is. Maybe it's because of uh, shipping to Australia and uh, maybe the plastic doesn't like Australia that much. Okay, enough chitter chatter. Let's uh, get this guy out of his uh, lovely case defender. Look how nice that looks. Oh, boom. Head. Come on, man. Get out of here. Get the frick out of here, man. You're not wanted. Case defender. Yeah, case defender. Oh my god. The plastic on this bad boy. Very nice. Very actually happy to have another Cody in my collection. Because as some of you know, I actually did a review on the Series 1. Unraveled 1 Cody and... Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a questionable figure. This one's not... This guy's not standing for some reason. I can't stand to fly. I'm not that naive. Anyway, close look at uh, Cody. Let's let's freaking do it. Let's do it. I'm more than a bird. I'm more than a plane. 
I'm a bird plane. Okay, for some reason, my Cody does not want to stand. But uh, yeah, if you saw that review, I actually sold my unrivaled one Cody not too long ago because I was like, oh, I'm getting this one pretty soon. So, and this is like such a freaking upgrade from that figure. God damn. I also think I'm getting uh, the TNT Championship Cody for my birthday. I don't know. I don't freaking know anymore, dude. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. Who's to say? Hey, hey, who's to say? I'm not TNT champion ringside exclusive Cody. I don't know these things. Damn, we got a lot of plastic with this guy, huh? There we go. I don't think I've ever had this much plastic on an Oh! I don't think I've ever gotten this much plastic on an unrivaled figure. So this is new for me. Do you have to pop it off? Do you have to pop off and you go gain me just a little bit of unrivaled series for Cody Rhodes? Boom. Just like that. We just ripped that off. Oh, loose. No! No worries, nothing a little paper won't fix. Yeah, this guy doesn't like standing for some reason. I don't know what he I don't know what his deal is, bro. But he doesn't he doesn't just he just doesn't like standing. Beautiful. Boom. Alright, so this is the unrivaled series four Cody Rhodes, not to be opposed with his chase figure that comes into that set with the gold pants instead of the black and green in a different type shirt. But let's get into the accessories, if you will. I don't know if you can even call this an accessory. Could you call this weight belt an accessory? Because it comes just on the figure, so... I mean, it's removable, so heck, it's an accessory. So it says, won't back down. Now, obviously, this is from... Let me look at the date. This is actually from Fighter Fest 2019. I believe he took on Darby Allen. And I think that was like a, a first look at Darby Allen that I got, at least. And I was like, god damn, this, this, this cat's crazy. Speaking of him, there he is. Boom. If you want to have a little figure match, you can. Oh, 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 what the? Dude, you just slapped me in the face, bro. What the? F Boom. And then that's how that happens, and that's how that match went, and it was six stars. Dave Meltzer actually gave that six stars, and I don't blame him for it, you know? And again, this Cody's just not standing. I don't know what, I don't know what his deal is with me. Maybe he just doesn't like me. Oh, there we go. I think I fixed it. <laughs> Oh, Cody likes me now. Oh, guys. So, yeah, this is the figure. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful dream tattoo on the uh, left chesticle. And again, like I mentioned, the green and black. I think this is actually a really strong color combination. It's freaking sick. Okay, this pamphlet's kind of annoying me. Let's get that the heck out of here. For realsies this time. Yeah, I don't know what it is with this torso. My unrivaled one, Cody, was not like this, but the torso is very loosey-goosey. Also, taking another look at the interchangeable head scan. Looking freaking pretty stern. Looking very nice. Let's pop the head off. Boom, just like that. Simple. And one gripe I also have about unrivaled is how loose these pegs get whenever you interchange the heads, which is, I don't know, it's just... A little thing I I personally have found issues with my unrivaled figures with that little peg I, I it just gets loosey-goosey and then it, there's nothing you can do about it that exact problem actually happens with my John Moxley if you'll see you just and that's not me that's not it because of me trying to do that and get it to do that it just happened over time so yeah, what else we got we got we got the weight belt already talked about we got the Throne Breaker T. This is obviously based off of Double or Nothing 2019 when he broke that throne. You know what I'm saying? That was actually the attire of the Unrivaled One Cody. I wish I didn't sell it so soon so I could swap the bodies on it, see how that looked. But nonetheless, I really like this attire as well, especially because it's from a great match as well. Also, a fun fact about this Cody, the weight belt actually stays on and stays clipped. If you know, if you have Unrivaled One Cody, then you'd know that how hard it is to keep the weight belt on. Just because I think it was their first time doing a, you know, AEW figure line series, and they didn't get the right plastics, but now they have the right plastics, which is really cool, like the right settings for it and stuff. Very firm, very nice, actually stays on which is just what you want because it doesn't just dangle around when he's wrestling in the ring that's silly and just for my personal preference i think i'm going to pop this smiling head scan back on as you can see yeah this is already starting to get pretty loose which kind of sucks all right let's do some aw figure comparisons aw aw i'm just saying aw so much that i'm just i'm turning into jim ross as we speak all right here is the unrivaled four cody Next to the Unrivaled 4 Kenny Omega and the Unrivaled 3 Darby Allen, which are both newly reviewed by the way, go check them out on my channel. And I also have another figure from Unrivaled 4 coming in the mail, see if you can guess it in the comments. And if you guess it, you can win 
nothing. You can win absolutely nothing if you guess it right. <laughs> Dude, I think this is awesome. This is a definite big step up from the Cody's that we've had in the past, excluding the TNT champion Cody, obviously. That one's like, I think that one takes the cake out of all of them. But this still is a really good runner up just because it has all the same sort of stuff as the TMT champion Cody, like this awesome head scan, the cloth shirt and everything. This is the first time I've gotten a cloth shirt with an AEW figure and it's actually really good quality. Like I'm a big fan of this over the Mattel quality, if I'm being honest, big, big fan. Love how it freaking looks and love how it feels as well. It's very soft. All right, ladies and gents, that has been it for my review of the Unrivaled 4 Cody. And my final thoughts on this figure, I think this figure is freaking sick. Definitely pick it up if you have a chance. Even if you still have the TNT Champion Cody and you don't have this, I think this is still really cool. I'm a big fan of the attire nonetheless. I feel like Cody's have some banger attires and I can't wait for all of them to be into figure form. Even if that means we have to get three Cody's um, every series, I'm fine with that. Because I think he's a pretty good wrestler and I, I'm a big fan of his attires as well. I think they all look freaking and smexy and pretty and beautiful what i'm really waiting for though is a cody with black hair i think that's gonna be freaking sick maybe the cody in the dog collar match with Brody lee maybe they can have a two-pack with the dog collar oh my god i need to work at jazzwares i think i keep springing up all these good ideas for free jazzwares hit me up also, let me know if you like this ring, in-ring setup. Uh, if you don't like it, also let me know that as well. Then my next review I can do freaking on the road outside. I don't freaking know, dude. How could I forget? Wait, let, let's have him holding his own severed head, right? Because that's, that's, that's fine. Okay, now this is a freaking American nightmare, dude. Look at this shit. That is the nightmare. <laughs> that is nightmare fuel out the wazoo, I tell you that much. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a big uh, thumbs up. And also, if you didn't like it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up because funny. And make sure to subscribe, hit the bell if you haven't already because you know who subscribes and watches every freaking Nick Storm upload, Cody. This guy owns a freaking company and he watches every upload because he's that dedicated and he has his priorities set straight, okay? But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and uh, I'll see you guys um, whenever I see you next. I'll see you when I'm looking at you. Bye-bye, huh. bye-bye. Oh, Darby Allen, what the f***? <laughs>